Emergency! Parachutes, parachutes, parachutes! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Here we are in the Kerbal Space Complex. <laughs> Ooh, they have a little swimming pool. Swimming pool. But we are here, ready to launch a spacecraft that we can see off in the distance there. And you might notice that there are two, count them, two Kerbonauts in command here. So let's slowly and very jerkily <laughs> roll up to our spacecraft of choice. I bring you the spacecraft I have dubbed the Double Entendre Mark I. <laughs> <laughs> the names. You gotta come up with unique names or else you'll overwrite your other ships. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why I can't simply make a, a simple spacecraft. I seem to have something, uh, some some sort of an affinity towards uh, double uh, doubling up on, on things here. Specifically, I don't know if you remember previous previous episodes of Kerbal Space Program where I made the, the double-wide refueler where I sent up not one but two orange fuel tanks into orbit for a makeshift fueling station. So so here I've pretty much just doubled up on uh, a rocket, uh, put them next to each other, uh, pretty much hope that they don't rip themselves asunder, and I've put Bob Kerman in the main capsule. This is the main capsule. This is going to be the problem. Well, this is going to be the problem that we're going to have, potentially, is that these two capsules are going to be fighting for control, but this one that uh, Jebediah is in, excuse me, is the main capsule, and this one is hopefully a ride-along one. I don't know if I should disable the torque. They should all be the same, because they're facing the same way and whatnot. Uh, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. And as you can see, we do indeed have landing legs, because we are going to be attempting a landing on the moon! We made it to the moon before. Probably could have landed even with the, the fuel we had. But now we're gonna actually try to land on the moon. I've Because we've doubled up, we've got double the science equipment, double the crew reports we can have, and, and soil samples. No ladders. I didn't unlock any ladders yet, but the gravity is low enough on the moon where we can just hover hover on up uh, to and fro our capsules and whatnot, hopefully. Uh, that is if we get there, and let's find out if we can indeed get there. Is all my staging correct? <laughs> These are questions I should ponder. Yeah, seems like it. Alright, I'm going to turn SAS on in five, four, three, two, one, Whoa, that thing took a few moments to get off the pad. You know what, let's tilt over just a little bit. Might need some more solid rocket boosters. Might need some more solid rocket boosters. Just, uh, my observation, perhaps. Alright, let's hold it right there. Let's hold it right there, very nice. And... We're alright, we're picking up speed. Oh, we're picking up a lot of speed, actually. Might need not, not need more solid rocket boosters after all. Alright. Uh, I am just a little bit concerned about how much fuel I'm going to have remaining in the, uh, the landing stage. Oh god, no! Oh dear. Alright, we're still going up. <laughs> we, uh, we're getting pushed by these stages. Uh, that's problematic. Alright, let's just try to ride this out. Although we have lost a central stage. Now, that is an interesting thing to have happened. Uh, ha. Huh. Okay, I guess we can wait for these to run out of fuel, I guess. Um, alrighty then. Interesting. An interesting uh, series of events have, have transpired for us. Where are we going, by the way? We are not going to space today, that's for sure. Alright, I've gotta figure out how I can fix that. 
I was hoping there would be more spring in our step. Oh, see you later, suckers. All right, yeah, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Power down. Those are flying away. Let's roll about. Lose that stage. All right, I guess we could test out our lander. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, if we can get back to land, that is. Well, maybe we can... Ooh. Maybe we can kind of go that way. <laughs> We can always uh, earn some science and knowledge from from this stuff, but yeah, might need more solid rocket boosters. This is why we test things. Might also need some. Uh, ooh, we're actually gonna do pretty good for ourselves here, hopefully. course. Alright, we are going to be coming down over this island. So let's uh, get ourselves retrograde here. You know what I'm also going to do is activate these. Uh, uh, activate engine. Activate engine. More power. More speed and power. All right. Gonna be uh, coming down kind of on a rocky part. Well, that might be a little bit weird for us. Let's, oh, no, there we go. Let's go a little bit this way. All right, let's save some of that fuel. Testing out the lander accidentally. Let's go to the moon. On second thought, maybe we should test our lander first. <laughs> oh, man. All right, which way do I want to go? I want to go kind of this way. All right, minimal adjustments. On that, it says we're going to come down in the island, but I'm coming down kind of vertically, so I'm not entirely uh, sure that's going to be the case here. Uh, I want to go this way. Yes, I do. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. All right. Oh, wrong way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm now becoming a lawn dart. My, the aerodynamics are problematic. Our lights work. <laughs> Does our landing gear work? Our landing gear works. Yeah, all right. Cancel that. Cancel that. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna die. Ooh! <laughs> oh god, careful of all the parts falling around us. Alright. Well, it sticks together. Kerbals that stick together, uh, hopefully survive together. Alright, well it sticks together as a, as a single spacecraft. I actually didn't think that was gonna happen, but apparently when you when you fuse spacecraft together, they stay that way. Not Not too great on the precision landing. But uh, that's all right. I wonder. Crew report. Ooh, science. I'll I'll keep that. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> we'll earn something from this mission. Did I ever do one of these jobbies in the water? Ah, two science. Whatever. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, let's recover the vessel. Get what piddly little science we can. And let me go back a little bit to the drawing board. I think additional solid rocket boosters are going to be necessary, but then I've also got to consider... Uh, five science! Look at that! I've also got to consider... Uh, 
got to consider the uh, problem that actually caused all of my problems. That is the fact that the solid rocket booster uh, impacted with the uh, the main stage rocket. So let me let me do some uh, adjustments, and I'll be right back with you. All right, we are back on the launch pad. A few adjustments you'll be able to note right away is that we have two, count them, two solid rocket boosters on each side now. And since we do not have those separatrons, I'm doing something a little bit wacky and experimental here. Uh, I have added these little tiny fins and I've angled them ever so slightly in a way that, in my mind, it would push, push the nose of the booster away, away from the spacecraft, it might instead cause them to go into some sort of death spiral. But the only way to find out is if we actually test it. Uh, the way it would probably best work is if the fins were on both sides, but because I have two rockets here, it kind of impedes that from happening. Um, so yeah, test, 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 uh, you know, Cut once, test 27 times, blow up a bunch of kerbals. That's that's how this game works. But we are going to throttle up. SAS on. I am going to get into map mode and reset my stuff here. Very nice. And how about we try this again, Bob and Jebediah Kerman? In three, two, one. Go! All right, definitely a lot more punch off the pad. Uh, let me roll over ever so slightly. It might be the rollover that's causing me problems. Because then that puts this side at an angle. Oh, there is there is heat buildup happening on these fins. So that's not the best thing. <laughs> that that means I am I am introducing some aerodynamic forces that are not nominal. But we'll find out in literally a few seconds here. All right, I probably should have staged these separately so that they don't all run into each other, but oh well. Live and learn. Oh, damn hell's blazes. We can recover from this. Uh, no we can't. No we can't. Oh, damn it. All right. Huh. Maybe it's the tilt? Oh, lord. Let's get away from that debris. All right, now can we test out our lander? Not if I'm going upside down, that's for sure. All right, all right. Everybody calm down now. We are going to be coming down over land, that's for sure. I just hope we can keep it up like this. Uh, we are... well, no, we're, the SAS really isn't having to work too much. Uh, I am thinking that I should activate these engines. Alright. Uh, it's a question whether or not we're going to actually be on solid ground. Uh, maybe I can... a little bit all right the landing gear is long enough that's something I, I didn't know and or test and we are at full throttle which means we don't really have that great of power here for for a Kerbin landing Although we are slowing down quite a bit. We're still a thousand meters. <laughs> Alright, it seems... Seems as though we're going to not land in the water. We're still 900 meters. We do need to slow down a bunch though. And we're speeding up actually. Oh, uh, we, we lost... Uh, we lost... Uh, we lost power. Alright. Emergency! Parachutes, parachutes, parachutes! 
Ah, nuts. All right. Uh, the controls are a little bit wonky, too. How do I adjust that? It's probably the issue of having multiple... Uh, multiple... things. Uh, how do you... Is there a way to reset... Oh god, I don't know what all this stuff means. Subassemblies. This is all this is all new. Cross cross section profile. What does that even mean? Um I don't know what any of that stuff is. Uh let hmm. Alright, so these things keep hitting us. <sighs> I feel like maybe. Hey, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Direct to orbit. There we go. Uh, that's the main... Yeah. I feel like if they're on the side, that shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I should remove these fins. They might be doing me more harm than good in the end. Keep things simple, Kurt. Keep things simple. I thought, unless I was mis-remembering, mis uh, I thought that these disconnects had more spring in their step. Unless I was wrong? Like, I thought, I remember them having like a poof, it punched outward. Uh, oh, but they are, oh, these are mounted quite low. Maybe that's the problem. They're mounted quite low on the booster. Huh. Huh. Mm hmm. Is there something I can just plop on the side to give it just a little bit of drag? Pull away, or... No, there's no, like, little fins I can just... Well, the fin is what I tried, and that didn't work. Uh, let's also... Let's not stage them all at the same time, maybe. Let's... Let's do opposites. So this one... And this one. Alright. Bunk. Bunk. There we go. So it'll be... Ba-ba. Ba-ba. Just do that in kind of rapid succession. Kind of like a... Delta 5 or whatever that has the boosters, they kind of separate in tandem on the opposite ends of the spacecraft. Uh, we could try this again. We could try this again. We haven't had one of these episodes in a long time. The the trial and error episodes. This is what this is what Kerbal Space Program's all about, kids. This is what this is the fun. <laughs> we're having we're having fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're having fun. Stop complaining. Alright, let us. Head to the launch pad. Uh, I think all the staging is right, right? Uh, yeah, I've got all those things disconnecting. All the boosters going at the same time. Those separate, those separate, then those separate. Yeah, because, because I did a weird thing with the, the setup here, I can't really do justice to the onion asparagus uh, pickle staging so they just we lose those stages all at the same time maybe I should separate those uh, equivalently but that would I think that would throw our balance off oh well one problem at a time here Kurt J. Mack one problem at a time SAS on trying for the third time third time is a charm to get to the moon in three two one Yaus! Alrighty then. Oh, oh, my controls are not what they should be. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's, uh... Oh, good lord. What? The, the nav ball's all wrong. I wish there was a way to recenter that. I, I want to go on the 90, which is not that way. It's this way. There we go. Okay, that's weird. I'm really weirded out. Oh, I'm, I'm introducing some sort of atmospheric jimbly jamblies. All right, we're gonna find out if placing the solid rockets on the side helps. We're going really fast. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, take that! Oh God, <laughs> take that, you dang screwballs! We are going super fast. Uh, things feel a little bit out of whack here. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, we were getting ahead of ourselves there with our orbit. Take it easy, recover, 
recover, recover. Very nice. What's this doing? That's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. Uh, and... Yeah, let's just, maybe we should follow the prograde. There we go. There we go. Good job, Jebediah. Autopilot. Alright, now we're gonna lose all these stages at the same time. This is where things can go bad. They can go very bad. Oh, see that? That was beautiful. That's how they should it should be done. All right. Uh, we might go to space today. Whoa. Oh dear, I should have put some struts. I'm walking. I'm walking. All right. Whoa. 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 All right. Everybody calm down now. Everybody calm down. All right. I think I know where to put some struts now. Okay, everything was holding itself together from the outside. Uh, once I got rid of all those outer stages, things went a little bit wibbly-wobbly. Let's actually... Let's disable uh, the gimbling. Because I think that is what was causing most of our problems. Yeah, alright. We're gonna have some trouble controlling ourselves. Oh, I don't know that we're going to space today. All right. See, just uh, getting uh, getting the kinks out of the uh, the hose here. Yes, space might not be happening. We're close. We're close. I can try to tilt ourselves up a little bit. To get ourselves more altitude. Oh yeah, we need 10,000 more meters and we're already at our apoapsis. Ugh. I could activate these engines and, and try. But things are not looking all good for old Kurt J. Mac. We are still interfacing with the atmosphere. And I wanted to kind of use this stage to get to the moon. Which I think is possible. I think is possible. Uh, we just need struts. That's the only thing we need is some struts between these uh, stages and we'll be all right. I don't... there's no way we can get to space like this. <laughs> we're already past the apoapsis. Well, we're just creating... we're just inches, inches in front of our own apoapsis. And we're burning all our fuel. Oh, we might go to space today. We're still 7,000 meters away from technical space. Ooh, look at this! We're going to space today! But I might have to restart this mission regardless. Like I said, we're drastically low on fuel. I don't think... we're going to space, but we're not going to moon. I think I should just restart. I'm gonna restart. I rarely do this, but I'm just gonna restart. Uh, we are going to revert to the vehicle assembly building and hopefully before the end of this episode we can get to space all right that worked marvelously although how do i like re can i recenter my gimbal or something tackle torque no i i can't, I can't apparently like can i say okay just bleh. the rotation is what we needed but not not like that Ah, whatever. Um, oh, I guess I would have to rotate the entire spacecraft beneath me? Alright, let's try that to see how what I can break here. Yeah! But then he can't get out. Uh, actually, I would want to do that, right? And then... Oh, go back. Oh god, <laughs> that probably destroyed a lot of stuff on this stack here, didn't it? 
All right, that's weird. Now, are, are these gimbals going to be fighting each other now? Is that something I have to worry about? That's still all visible. All right. Interesting, interesting. You know what I should do to try to balance things out is move this antenna over here. I know it's a little tiny, tiny weight, but you, you'd, you'd be surprised. All right, so what, what did we want to do? We wanted to somehow sneak in here. Hello, hello. Can I, do you mind if I place some uh, struts, please? Uh, yes, very nice. And now to the other side, if you don't mind. Eh. Oh, no, 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 not, not there. There we go. Hey, that worked. I, I could squeeze into tight places. Uh, let's also... No, that worked. I was gonna say, maybe I should stage these separately, but that worked. I feel like the fins would do weird things if I stage those. But yeah, I have pop up, pop up, bing, bong. All right. I think we're all right. I think we could do this. Let's save. Let's head to the launch pad. Let's, let's test our controls while we're on the launch pad as well to actually see if left, right, up and down equals left, right, up and down now that I've rotated the uh, command capsule 90 degrees again. Oh, yep, it does, it does. Left, up, down, north, south, I think is reversed, but yeah, that's the way. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, perfect. We did it. Congratulations, everybody. Episode over. No, no, we're going to go to space in five, four, three, two... Yaus! Let's actually save some of that liquid fuel, because we were going a little bit too fast, in my personal opinion. Let's do a little bit of a tilty, tilt-a-whirl here. And let's hold it right there. Ooh, that was almost too much. All right, take it easy. Very nice, very nice. Throttling down for maximum dynamic pressure. And then we'll throttle all the way up once we lose these solids. Which is going to be very, very shortly. Oh, I almost accidentally hit it <laughs> too soon. Okay. That's uh, one way to do it, I guess. Did I lose something? Oh, I lost a fin. Crap. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're alright. Throttling up. We can survive this. Alright, so that... Only works if you're lucky, <laughs> is, is the thing I've learned from that. Alright, so maybe no really major maneuvers. Uh, actually, what I should do is... Uh, uh, de deployed? What the hell does that mean? Oh, God! Uh, Alright, calm down now, everybody. I'm afraid if I do any maneuvers, the lack of a fin... That's alright, that's alright, we're fine. Alright, now hopefully we're lucky here when these disconnect. Because we're, we're missing a fin. Uh, okay, alright, fine and dandy. Uh, let's soften our controls a little bit. Let's look at how we're doing. Oh, much better, I think. Sort of, maybe, who knows. We have yet to find out. Uh, let's actually... Oh god, easy, easy, easy. That was a little bit much. But thank you very much for that. Yeah, okay, we're, we are, we are going to space. We can actually probably throttle down a touch, a third. Save some of this fuel. Hooray! We figured it out! Figured it out, everybody. Oh yeah, easily, easily, easily going to space. That was... See? Redundancy! <laughs> that had nothing to do with redundancy. There was no redundancy there. Uh, I just got a little bit lucky there with the control surfaces. Uh, I think we're probably above 70? Yeah, we're getting there. Alright. Throttle down to half. How's it going, Bob and Jeb? Doing good, doing good. 
Very nice. Where's the moon? I, I think we better do an orbit before we do our burn for the moon. Just to make sure everything's on the up and up. How's our altitude? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll throttle up now, just because we're getting close to our apoapsis, and I want to make sure we get into orbit. And there's the music. We're in space. Music space. My space. <laughs> what? Do we have... Oh, God. Do we have the oomph to get into orbit? I'm, I'm not feeling too great about the power to weight ratio I've got going on here. Okay. All right, friends. Uh, let's just keep it right there. We are at full throttle. Can't go any faster. We're going to be losing weight, so hopefully that helps. Ugh. But overall, <laughs> we are dropping. <laughs> Maybe we should just tilt up a very little bit, just to make sure. This is going to be a weird orbit, because we're past our apoapsis. Ugh. This might not be the rocket for us, after all. Alright, here comes this orbit. Yeah, it's going to be a weird egg, egg-shaped orbit. Uh-oh, are we not? We're not in space anymore. Hold on. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to drop down to 68. Whoa, hey, hi, apoapsis. We're going to drop down to 68, but we should be fine enough to just skip through this little thin part of the atmosphere. We have no fuel left. <laughs> No fuel left in this stage. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, throw caution to the wind and still attempt getting to the moon on on what I have left here in the lander stage. This is, this is ill-advised, Kurt J. Mack. This is ill-advised, but I should... I might lose a few meters on that side. But I should be able to... Sorry, my dog came up to me. <laughs> There's a dog on this spaceship? What are you doing? Uh, I should be able to uh, make it through fine, and then when I go over to the apoapsis, I'll raise the apoapsis, ditch this stage. Let's actually do that now before we end the episode. Oop, sorry. No, oh, I'm, I'm in the atmosphere. It can't let me warp anymore. Gee, thanks! Uh, all right. Guess we have to wait to get above 70,000 again. All right, we're back, and uh, we're back at now our apoapsis, and we already missed the burn because we're too busy spinning around. But we're going to do what burning we can to turn around and get our periapsis above 70,000. That should be easy enough. All right, you damn... You damn... Uh, SAS, you're all wrong. You you miss you miss your marks. You should slow down. There we go. Woo! Oh, that was it. All right, that should have been enough. Oh, easily enough. All right, so we're in orbit. We are in safe orbit. And 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 next time, we're going to try uh, quick save to get to the moon right there in Kerbal Space Program. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. There's so many things can go wrong here. So many things!